Let's take a look at the most important function in Project Link, and that is collaborating with people external to your organization. They could be your suppliers, they could be your vendors, your manufacturers, your customers, and someone on the outside, and you don't want to give them access to your common space. For example, let me use the Browse button, and I'll go to one of my products. Let me go to the folders over here. And here I have my common space. Sometimes I want someone to be able to see stuff or work on stuff, but I don't want to give them access to my PDM link. I don't want to give them access to my common space because then they'll have access to everything. They'll have access to my intellectual property. Instead, you use Project Link to share with people. Let me navigate to one of my projects. Let me go to folders over here and let me go into the designs folder. So right now there is nothing here in my project, but I can share data from PDM link to this project. Then I'll give that external person access just to the project. And that way they're only seeing a subset of my data. Let's take a look at how we do this. I'm going to use the recently accessed list to go to one of my CAD assemblies. If I want to share this with somebody, I will go to the Actions drop down menu and then Add to and Add to Project. And here I get a form, and first thing you want to know is what project do I want to share it with. Let me use the Find button and I will search on the name. Let me use M with a wildcard. And here it came up with the project. I will click the OK button and then I can use the browse button in order to select the folder that I want to share it to. Then when I click on the next button, it'll take me to the second page in the form for collect objects and set options. And by default, dependence is set to all. So it's grabbing all the different components that were in the original object. If you take a look at this line over here, it says initially selected and the collection rule for everything else is dependent. And I can say, hey, you know what? In addition to this, maybe they need to do some change to the WT parts so I can select all and then use this button over here to collect any related parts. So now I've got the WT parts as well. And just to show you some of the other different things that you can collect, you can collect related drawings. You can grab the family table objects like instances and generics. Here you can grab any other related CAD documents or standard documents like a Word file, PDF, Excel, spreadsheet, so forth and so on. So you have a lot of different options here for collecting different things. And so we have it going to the specified location. That's good. I don't need to do anything else in here, so I will just click the Finish button, and it is processing. And so it says, Object successfully shared to Project 24. That's good. Let's click the OK button. Now let me go to Recently Access, and I'll go to that Designs folder. And so inside of the project, now you can see the objects that have been shared over here. And if you see the icon over here, you can see that it's got a status symbol that shows that it is shared from PDM. Then later on, if changes are made to something, well, you would then be able to use different uh, options in here to share it back into your common space in PDM link so that it can be updated with the changes that were made by your partner if you allow them to make uh, those different changes. So that's how you share something to a project so that you can collaborate with external people. Let's take a look at how we would actually perform the process of making a change to these objects that are shared to the project and then getting them back into PDM link. So here I am in Creo Parametric. I'm taking a look at the designs folder where I shared these different CAD objects and WT parts to the MCAE schedule project. If I open these up right now, I can look at them as an external partner because they are shared. That's what the status symbol means. If I want to modify them, then I need to check them out from PDM. So I'm going to select a couple of assemblies that I know I want to make changes to. Let's select that one over there and this one over here. 
and then from the actions menu I can go to the command convert to PDM checkout and as the name implies it'll check these out objects out from PDM link so I can make changes to them all right so let's now create a new workspace again I recommend new task new workspace I'll go to the server management dialog box let's click on the new button and again I like to use today's date in the name of my workspace that way I can tell how old it is and for the context that it's associated with we're going to choose the project that we have access to now I will click the OK button the workspace has been created and it is currently active let's find the main assembly that we want to work on and I can right click on it and choose add to workspace it's automatically going to the active workspace be aware that you could also create a new workspace when you are adding it to the workspace and so here we have it in here this is good let's click the OK button and so now when I take a look at my workspace here you can see the contents that are shared in here and again a couple of them have a different symbol for their status next to them most of them are set to share but two of them are set to check out from PDM and again if someone else was trying to work on these in PDM link they'd be notified that these are actually checked out to the project let's use the open button in order to open this in Creo parametric let me turn off the display of my datums and again for some other work I was doing I moved my in graphics toolbar down to the status bar and I'm gonna make a couple changes in here let's say I want to go create a new assembly I'll click on the create button and again we get this warning so right now it is checked out from PDM but it's not checked out from the project so be aware there are sort of like two different levels of checkout when you're working on objects that were shared to a project first you check them out from PDM and then when you're actually working on them in the project if you're making changes to them you're going to check them out from there so that's good I will click the OK button and now I'm just going to create a, another subassembly real quick Okay, great. So I created a new subassembly at the top level, and I also checked out a another assembly over here. I'm going to activate it, and once again, I'm going to create some more subassemblies inside of there. When I click on the create button, again, we get to uh, get the conflicts dialog box that warns us that we need to actually check out these objects from the project level as well. Let me click the OK button, and let me create a couple of subassemblies real quick. All right, so I've done all my design work in the project. Let's hit the Save button. I'm going to go to my folder browser and take a look at my workspace. And so here we can see that we have our two sub-assemblies that were checked out from PDM, but they're also checked out to the project. We also have three new objects in here. So the first step that I'm going to do is I'm going to check this work back into the project. And that way, the people who shared this with me, they could take a look at it and determine if the changes that I made were good. Let's just use the check-in icon from the main assembly over here and let's see three of them I create three new objects right now they're just going to the top level of the project let me use the check boxes and then the choose location folder icon just to make sure that everything gets into the same place let's click the OK button from here and everything in here looks good let's click the next button and here we have a bunch of different options and let's see, I'm going to remove them from the, actually, I'm not going to remove them from the workspace. I'm going to show you a conflict that you can get in here. Here's the option to undo the checkout of any unmodified objects. Well, 
both the objects that were checked out were modified. So I don't need to select any of the different options in here. Let's click the finish button. And so now we can see the objects inside of the workspace. Again, I'm going to leave them inside of the workspace for a moment to show you an error that you can get and that you can resolve in here. Okay, so let's go in here. Oops, ended up getting these three objects going to the top level because I didn't set any other additional preferences. Let me use the actions and then, oh, actually we can use the cut and paste functionality. Cut those, then let's go to the design folders, and then from in here I can use the paste, and that way we just moved them to the different folders. Use more cut and paste when you're going to and from project stuff. But anyhow, let's take a look at the objects where, that were checked out from PDM. We can see the status in there, and we have again some of the new objects. I'm going to right click on here and then from here I can choose send to PDM and so send to PDM will allow me to put it back into the locations in PDM link. Alright so here we see the objects that are collected in here and again we have the status symbol for the objects that are checked out. Here you have some options where you can choose to which objects you want to do the PDM check-in to, or if you want to keep checked out. You could also remove some of the different objects. Let's click on the next button over here. And so for uh, some of these other different objects, here we have the names that are generated. Let's specify for the new objects, their attributes. And for this one, I'm just going to make sure that they go to the correct location let's see this should go to the military vehicles engineering folder let me choose okay out of there and so now we can click on the finish button and so here we see the objects were successfully sent to PDM that's good and that way I've shared the work pack notice that these objects are still shared to me in the project so i might be doing this process over and over again i might be making some modifications checking them back into the project a person can review my work and then they will check in the work from the project back to pdm link so the people that have access to the main common space will be able to see those updates and that's the general way in which you can collaborate with other people so now let's say that I'm done with sharing these various different objects. I can select them and specify that we are no longer going to share them. And by to do that, we're going to use the remove share option. So I will click on that and it says, hey, wait, removing the shares of the selected CAD documents may cause a failure opening the related objects in their applications. Do you want to proceed? I'm going to cancel out of here for a moment just to show you that, hey, this thing is still open here inside of Creo Parametric. Let me at least close it out of Creo and then erase from memory. But then let's go back here and try that again. So we've got our workspace. Let's select everything. Oh wait, here I'm still in the workspace. I meant to go back to the project. All right, so from here we can select all and then go to the actions and we are going to remove the share. And again, we get the warning over here. I'm gonna click okay. And here it says, hey, this failed trying to perform this particular operation. Whenever you get the event manager that opens up, that's warning you that you're getting a failure. There's a little first aid kit that you can click on to see if you can resolve conflicts. And the problem that it's having over here, if I click on one of these links, is that It'll tell me that it cannot remove the share of the assembly because it's in a workspace. And there is a retry option that will remove it from the workspace and remove the sharing status. That's good. Let's click the retry button. And so this time it was retried and it succeeded. Let's close out of here. Now when I take a look inside of the designs folder, we can see that it is empty because we, we removed the share. It is no longer in there. Let's take a look at the object in the PDM link product. Let me go to the correct product and let's go to engineering. 
All right, so here you can see the different objects that were in here. Let's change the sorting object. And here you can see the object that was modified. It's now at the A.3 version because it was just checked in from the project. So again, that's how you can use this process for collaborating with external vendors. You're going to take objects from your PDM link common space, share them to a project, and then from the project, they can check out from PDM, add them to a workspace, do a local project checkout, make their changes, check back into the project. If you are happy with work that they've done, then you can send those objects from the project back to PDM link so the rest of the company has access to the updated objects from your external partner. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button and ring the bell to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.